Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 7th of July 2023. It's the 777 portal. Interesting. Let's see. Endings happening. Lots of endings. Look, change. Number five wanted to flip over. Something's going to change when it comes to work or living arrangements. Let's see. 35. This could be a message for a 35-year-old or somebody who's in their 30s, mid-30s. Okay. This could be an employer or somebody. Okay, there's an employer here who is mistreating their employees and the employees want to leave. Also, somebody could be at work and fantasizing about love instead of focusing on their work. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What's the message for Divine Feminine today? Two of Cups. Yes, love is coming. You hear the motorbike outside. It's revving up its engine. Ready to go. Somebody could be coming your way. Maybe they're coming on a motorbike or a scooter or something. Or just their car. But, um, yes, it's true. King of Swords could be an air sign. He's getting ready to come your way quickly. Okay, let's see, two of wands, another two. So there's definitely a union happening here, or look, we've got, uh-oh. We've got heartbreak and confusion here, and we've got the queen of swords. So king and queen of swords can be counterparts, but I feel like this is a separation. You broke up with somebody in the past, and now this person's coming back to you. And this could be a karmic relationship, to be honest. Who's coming back here? This person could be watching you. They're watching you online or they're planning to travel, like I said, because the Two of Wands is making a plan to travel somewhere, right? The guy is looking overseas. So this person could be far away. Again, these two came out. The Queen of Swords had the King of Cups here. But somebody's not seeing eye to eye. This could be another person. So there could be two exes here. This could be an ex from a more distant past. And this could be an ex from a more recent past. Or somebody's about to break up. Or just broke up. And then this past person could be coming back. And we have a tower moment here. Somebody's becoming single. Because four of wands could talk about the marriage. And then nine of pentacles, somebody becomes single. So you might just be about to break up from somebody or you just broke up from somebody and that's why this past person is coming back quickly. Should you take the past person from the distant past back? Let's see. Six of Wands, victory. That's a yes, but um, 26 could be significant. Somebody be born on the 26th in February or June. Okay. Another six. The number six keeps coming through. The last few days I've been seeing the number six a lot. Either somebody's born on the 6th or they have a six life path or they're born in June. 26th of June could be significant. Something could have happened on the 26th of June. Uh, that's... Um, I forgot what season it is. Is it Gemini or is it Cancer? I always forget. It's Cancer season, yeah. 26th of June is in Cancer season. Somebody be a Cancer. And again, this is somebody from the past with the sixes. Definitely a past person coming back to have a union with you. Queen of Cups. Because they love you. Or you love this person. You could be a water sign. 38, you might be 38. 26 came out again. That's crazy. Wow. Somebody could definitely be born on the 26th. Knight of Cups. Y yeah, look, the King of Swords is coming towards you as the Knight of Cups here. So this person could be very much in their head. This could be somebody who is very intelligent or intellectual. But emotionally speaking, this person may not be on your level. Because they're coming in as the Knight towards the Queen here. We've got Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups. This talks about rejection and feeling trapped in your head. So like I said, this person could be trapped in their head about something. This person could be afraid. 
that they're going to be rejected if they come towards you and I think that's uh, part of the reason why we have this eight of swords here this person really wants to come and make you some kind of love offer but they're scared that you're gonna reject them that's what I'm getting and you're looking away here this person could have looked away from you in the past and you walked away and now they want to come towards you that you walked away now Again, this could be a Cancer because this is Cancer. This is Cancer. 26th of June is in Cancer season. So there could be a Cancer coming towards you. This Cancer could have Aquarius in their chart or there's an Aquarius with Cancer in their chart here. And you might be a Pisces. You might both be water signs. But this person could also have strong air in their chart and possibly fire. Nine of Wands, that's Sagittarius. Also, somebody feels very wounded and bruised and battered. King of Swords with the Nine of Wands could talk about somebody who's actually in the military or was in the military. Uh, this person could have some kind of trauma. 85 could be significant. Somebody could be born in 85 or 15. Somebody could be born on the 15th. And we've got 35 sticking out here. 51, 351. Hmm... It could be almost a year since you spoke to this person. Okay. Who is this exactly? Let's clarify who is this person from the past. 35. This person could be 35. Maybe you're 38 and this person's 35. So they could actually be physically younger than you. The Ace of Cups I think is in reverse. I don't know what I did. But... Um, also, 351, again, is coming through, or 35A. Could be an address, possibly. Or it could be a part of somebody's phone number, 351. They might be calling you on the phone, and the number might contain 351, for example. Or this could be a country code or something, um, area code, 351. I don't know what that would be, but who knows. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be calling you from their home phone, possibly. Or from the phone of an institution. Yes. They're going to call you. Right. You might not be open to this person because they're younger than you, but it uh, doesn't mean that they're less mature. Not necessarily. Ten of Cups. Look, we've got Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. So I think you're going to be happy with this person if you accept their offer here. Yes, it's true because I just talked here. That's a yes. I think it's true. You might not want to accept this person's offer, but this is probably the person for you. I'm not sure if this person hurt you in the past or not. Somebody else could have hurt you in the past. Free of Swords. Yeah, somebody broke your heart in the past. Could be this person because this Free of Swords is clarifying the Knight of Cups and the King of Swords. I'm not sure if the King of Swords and the Knight of Cups are the same person or not, but they might be. Ten of Wands, King of Wands. There could also be a King of Wands here. Or... The King of Wands is Knight of Cups and King of Swords. So this person could have different energies to them in different situations. But we've got Ten of Wands here. So something's very burdening for this man here, whoever this King of Wands is. Or this person's a burden to you. They've caused issues for you in the past. Huh. 85 comes through again. Somebody will be born in 85. Five of Pentacles. And 58. There you go. Um, I feel like um, there's somebody you need to let go of. Like I said, yeah, Knight of Wands. I said there's somebody you need to let go of. And the Knight of Wands came out on top of the King of Wands. And we also have the Joker and the Queen of Wands. So this could be a fire sign. There's a fire sign you need to let go of. Seven of cups, five of wands. 
three of wands. Now we have five three one. We had three five one. Now it's five three one, or fifty three a, and forty four. So even though there's a separation here between you and this King of Wands, Knight of Wands, Fool person, you're still holding on to them or they're still holding on to you. And you might be fantasizing about this person a lot. You might be lying down and thinking about them. Maybe you're holding on to something from them as you lie down in bed. And uh, you feel a lot of passion about this person. You are fantasizing about this person. But this person's put you in a third party situation. This person's made you compete for their attention. And they could have a lot of options, but you have a lot of options too. So all these knights and kings could be different people for you. So it's not like you're missing, you're not having options here. There could be at least two solid options with the six of pentacles here. Yeah, you're not missing options. There are lots of people who are interested in you. 31 could be significant. <sighs> but you are thinking about somebody in particular. Look, Knight of Swords on top of King of Swords. 13th of August or the 31st of August could be significant. Eighty-three or thirty-eight. Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles. There's somebody you have a lot of passion for, but I feel like this um, relationship is mainly sexually based. Yeah, I just said sexually based, and the Knight of Wands came out. So you could feel very attracted to the fire sign I mentioned, but that's all it is. It's physical attraction. Eight of Cups, walk away, right? Two of Pentacles, this person is juggling. This person could be narcissistic. This person could have laughed in your face. They could have um, <sighs> shoved in your face the fact that they have somebody else. 73 could be significant or 37. So, um, yeah, this this person's uh, going nowhere with you. They're probably married or in a solid commitment. And um, they wanted to uh, have some fun. Five of Swords. Defeat. Also, again, the guy in the Five of Swords really pisses me off with the way he's laughing. Haha, <laughs> he's laughing at two people feeling sad, basically. After he's taken away their swords. So I really hate the Five of Swords, Nine of Swords. 59 could be significant. Oh my god, there's a car backing up. As I said, it's annoying. That's annoying too. <laughs> Eight of Wands reversed. 84 or 48 could be significant. 86. Ten of Swords, it's over. It's like, don't talk about it anymore, it's over. I'm hearing don't speak again by um, no doubt. And I just had a tower moment. So it's over with this person. And it was nothing but um, sexual attraction apparently. And although you might not recognize this yourself, that's probably what it was for you too. Three of Pentacles. You could have worked with this person at some point or you wanted to move in with them. With the Queen of Swords here, that's a yes. 91, somebody be born in 91 possibly. Or 24, somebody be 24. Okay, lots of numbers are coming through so they could be significant for some. So it's like they don't want to talk about this person anymore, the, the, the King of Wands, the fire sign here. They want to talk about this Knight of Cups, who might be younger than you. What about the Knight of Cups? He's fantasizing about you. Talk to me about this Knight of Cups coming in. Seven of Swords. Oh, God. 34. Maybe they're still 34, they're about to turn 35. 
Knight of Pentacles, 74, 34. Ah, what's up with this guy? Does this guy have sneaky intentions? 98. Something about the year 1998 could be significant. Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups. This person might have more serious intentions than you think they do. Seven of Pentacles. They're thinking of growth. 72. They could be thinking about having a partnership with you. They want to save you. They want to have a new beginning with you. They see that you're hurt and they want you to heal, right? Nine of Pentacles. That's Virgo energy. Virgo is the healer of the Zodiac. 79 and 72 could be significant. 8. 98 again. King of Pentacles. This person wants to have stability with you. They might want to work with you on something too. Seven of Swords. But again, the Seven of Swords comes out. I want to know what's up with the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords coming out for this Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles? Three of Wands reversed. Something's not working. Something's not coming together. They can't manifest something or you can't manifest or you don't want to manifest. You could be the Seven of Swords. You could be running away from this person. You could be emotionally unavailable. Because sometimes I see the Seven of Swords as emotional unavailability. Rather than stealing, cheating and hoeing. <laughs> um, so you might be running away from them. Because that's what I was saying from the start. That you're looking away from this person. You're not even considering them. But they're the king of cups. They're the king of cups to the queen of cups. Even if they're younger than you. Like I said, they could be a few years younger than you. If you're 38 or you're born in 85 or however that goes. This person could be 34 or 35. Maybe they're turning 35 or they did. Four of pentacles. You're holding back from this person. Because you're still, you still have your own wish fulfillment and you're competing with some other women for the attention of the fire sign. Right, four of wands, four, four, somebody be 44. Aries energy again, four, four, four. You are protected. You know what? You might be protected against the person you're still trying to manifest. It's like God's protecting you. You know uh, how they say rejection is God's protection. Maybe that's what's going on here. The fact that you're rejected by this fire sign or neglected. Uh, it could be God's protection actually. Right. Anything else? Six of Pentacles, but it flipped in the reverse, basically. Nine of Wands. Somebody is not getting the right kind of help that they need. You might be talking to a psychologist or a psychiatrist or something of the sort. Or maybe you need to talk to one. It could be a grief counselor, too. Maybe you need grief counseling. You might also need some, yeah, Ten of Cups. Maybe you need to talk to your family doctor about this. Um, there could be family issues that need to be addressed. And those family issues are still affecting your love life today. Yes, it's true. That's in reverse. The Ace of Cups is in reverse though. So, um, Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. This could talk about your emotional state with the Ace of Cups reversed. Emotional unavailability. So whoever's watching this are, is somebody who is very emotionally unavailable. And you might be running after a man who doesn't want you because you're emotionally unavailable, basically. And it, it's a burden. It's something that you've learned 
by dealing with your family members. You could have been rejected or neglected by your family members. And you always had to win somebody's affection or attention. These people could be gone now with the Four of Swords. Could be a father figure. Something about the year 1989 could be significant. So, um, there's some kind of unhealed trauma here. And it could be that even though you are undergoing some form of therapy, it might not be the right kind of therapy. Or the therapist is just um, taking your money without actually helping you. Eight of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands makes me think of talk therapy, but it keeps coming out in the reverse. I put it in the upright, it came out in the reverse again. So if you're doing some form of talk therapy, it might be useless. Maybe you need another form of therapy. Or you need to talk to another professional. Because it could be the professional themselves who's the problem. Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. It's true. Whoever the professional is, they're not very professional. They just want to take your money. So you need a second opinion from somebody possibly. Four of Swords. Also, you need to take the time out to heal and meditate by yourself. I saw 2121. There's something that's over. Something is ending. Or something needs to end. Ten of Pentacles. A cycle. King of Cups. W with the King of Cups here, I'm getting this as somebody's father. 89. And the year 1989. Something... Something this father did in 89 could be significant or somebody's born in 89 who's watching this. Somebody could have passed away in the 89. Seven of Swords. Or somebody cheated. Somebody did something sneaky, something bad. Possibly in 1989. 75. Somebody could be born in 1975. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Oh, this is talking about somebody who is giving to two people. You want to have a new beginning? Yeah, it's true. You want to have a new beginning with somebody who is already in a relationship or who's juggling multiple people. Four of Pentacles, that's the person you're holding on to. So you're very stubbornly... Holding on to this person because possibly they remind you of other past pains that you've had. Yes, it's true. That's why. So there's some kind of trauma bond here. 48 or 84 could be significant. Somebody could be 48. If they're born in 75, then they're probably 48, right? Yeah. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles, 68 or 86 could be significant. 62 or 26. 26 again. This number 26 is significant. Knight of Wands. King of Swords. So the Knight of Wands is the King of Swords from the other spread. And he's also the King of Cups. But then you've got another person. You have another option, but you're not even considering it. And the other option actually wants to be your one and only, I think. Two of Cups. Yep. You see how the, the baggage flipped over? It fell. The baggage fell. And then we're left with the Two of Cups. So once you drop the baggage, you're going to have your Two of Cups. But it's not with this person you're holding on to. Yes. And... For a new beginning. So it's pretty clear to me here. I'm not going to go in this any further. Because it's already 24-24. So there you go. That's the message. 